Hey everyone, um, gonna look at Boskovic here from uh, Serbia. This is her playing on her Vitra Bank in uh, Ser in a uh, Turkey though league. A little bit about her: she's 23 years old. She's a lefty. She is um, her jump range is from about 10.5 to 10.8. She is about six foot four, and she is one of the top paid players in the world right now. So. A lot of technique goes into her approaches. A lot of good things that she does is things that you can pick up, learn, different things like that. So um, right now we're going to look at just her jump serve because I like to have kind of a baseline in a controlled setting. So her jump serve is a controlled setting where she's in control of the toss. She can do her full approach just to see basically what her... Um, standard approach looks like what in a perfect situation how how much she gets her arms back how she loads her arm these different kind of things so you can take these as either a defensive player to play against somebody like this or you can kind of take it as an offensive player if you're a younger player and kind of learn some of the tricks of the trade here and and kind of what th things that she does that you can probably implement into your own game so right now we're going to look at her jump serve. This is a nice slow motion video of her jump serve into fast speed. So we're going to go over this one more time. I'm just going to let it run before we're going over things. Okay, so let's look at a couple things first. I like a lot with the toss here. So I like how her head's straight level. I don't like how the arm is down, so it's creating a kind of a blocker. It's not, her arm's not going way back behind her head, so her arm's just going up and straight, so it's a good toss. So she's using a lot of her back also to launch the ball up. So she's using her body to really get a consistent toss and make that thing very accurate. So you can see it kind of gliding off the hand, off the wrist here. It comes off the wrist nice and easily. It's not a flick of the wrist. The hand kind of just moves all together and then finishes on top. So you're using your whole arm and your whole body to really accurately throw that ball. You're not just tossing it and letting it go wherever. She's really, you can see how much body motion and control is into this toss. So if you're going to do a jump serve, if you're going to do any kind of attack serve, self-tossing, I know this is a little bit more than you think, but it does require a lot of body control and a lot of practice and it's the most important thing on your jump serve is actually your toss because then you just go and hit it. So we're going to take a look at our hitting mechanics here a little bit. A very standard four step approach. This step goes, her left step goes with her toss step. So one, here's one, there's two, There's three. There's four. All right, so as you're going to notice, that's where she's creating a lot of momentum, her second step, her really big drive step. So as a left-hander, it's this right foot. It's that second right foot jump off. It's that second step that really, really matters. This is where you're driving and creating a lot of the inertia, the initial energy that's going to be driving, driving into your jump that's going to propel you. So without this step right here, without this step, nothing else really happens that well. So that step's super important. She drives with this step in the arm. She goes naturally back. The double arm lift is a natural kind of process that she does. She goes straight back and forth. That's called like kind of like a pendulum. It's, a, it's an easy kind of, if you know what a pendulum is, it just kind of a, a goes back and forth and the weight 
goes back and forth in a straight line to create some momentum. So Hodubral arm lift is really beautiful here. It's just straight back and forth and creates a lot of space. This step that she takes right here takes a lot of space so she can get to any ball that she sees. So any ball that, maybe the ball's over here a little bit or the ball's over here. Say she doesn't toss it well, the ball's over there. That big step right here can get to any ball that she needs to. And she's lining up her step really well with that ball and she can see right now her head is completely focused on the ball. Her arms come very close together so it's very smooth you know you don't want your arms to go way too far out this is a conservative conservation of momentum and you want to drive your hands very fast through this zone you're going to notice that the hands actually create a lot of force and get loaded on this leg so the hands are pushing more energy down you want a quick load of energy into the ground and then you're going to rebound that energy up so you're putting force into this quad here. You're putting force, extra force with the, with the arm swing motion. And you want it to be, your arms go down right before that last step close goes. So right when the step close goes, your arms are kind of basically straight ahead. But that arm is right there. You can feel it from here to here. You're creating a lot of energy. Last, this brake foot is turned a little bit and in front, so that way she can drive forward with her body momentum. She has a nice arm lift, and she comes back very nice with that left hand, really curling, very nice, really loading. Look how much, how, look how far and loaded back. Still her head, her eyes and stuff are on the ball. Comes through nice curl naturally with the legs. So she's really getting this bow C effect. And then she straightens out. You can see the 90 degree arm here. And then she straightens out to attack. Very high, perfect extension where that energy is released back into a straight line. So you're going from this bow effect with your whole body is, is equaling like this bow effect here. Then she's going, that bow is snapping back into place. Her whole body is the bow. Then she's contacting it on a straight line. And then she follows through, which is the after effect, the recoil forward. So it's C to a snap forward at a high point where we're reaching high to a follow through forward C momentum where the ball goes forward. And the arm snaps through. So it's a kind of a quick breakdown of her just jump serve. We have some other plays here. There's some other transition hits, other effects. Here's her right here, number three. Ball set outside. Let's see what she's doing. She's getting back to block, so she's getting into her spot quickly. She makes this quick little move because she's watching the blocker. You can see the feet. So she's lining up with the hitter. So she's getting inside a little bit. She sees it's inside. It's an easy shot over. Transition set back to her transition here. So she's way off the court. You can tell, you can you cannot see her at all. See, she's off the court in transition. She's worked hard to get off the net. She's coming in at an angle. One foot's on the line, one foot's in the court. Again, when this brace foot, that right foot, because she's left-handed, is putting into the ground, that arm swing is starting to load already up. Nice natural break with this arm swing here. Get that nice 90 degree here. This is what I'm talking about with this 90 degree angle here. Really elbow high leading. Contacting at a very high point. drives through. So here it is again, full speed. Good drive. Here's another play of her. She's on the far right. 
There she is again. Look how quickly she gets off the screen though. So she's blocking here. You can see her right. You can see her right there for a second. She's right there. Number three. The ball's there. She is right here again. She's sprinting off the court. Turning into her transition. She's gone. She's ready to attack. Ball comes up again. One foot off the court. One foot inside. Again, once that, that bracer leg, that last step, it's right before, the arms are going down and putting a lot of pressure on the ground to jump higher. It's a rebound effect. And then when that brace foot gets locked in, you should be about equal. So arms down, putting a lot of extra force into that last step. Arms should be equal when that last foot hits. Brings that arm close and tight. Swings a great in front swing, really over her shoulder. Good block touch, but a lot of momentum. You see how she's flying with her momentum here. She's contacting it at a high point. She's hitting the ball at this top of the hand. She's using the hands. Good soft touch on the block. Again, nice rally. She's way off the court. You can't see her. And they get the kill. But she's off in the transition. She's playing. And she's really working hard in transition there. Over here, she's playing right back. She gets dug, but you can see this nice here. She's hitting a back row attack here. Step close. Really nice. I love the double arm lift here. It's really loose. It's really... A lot of energy coming. Again, once this lead break foot stops, the arms are forward and they're about already loading up the arm swing. And you can see once she starts to jump, her arm swing's already pulling back and ready and it's fluid and it's not stopped. It doesn't start and stop. It's a fluid snap through motion. Fluid snap through motion. She gets dug, plays out again. You can see she's transitioning here. She sees the dig, she transitions. She hits, she knows she doesn't get set, so she's running back into cover. Tight ball. Outside again off the block. So she's coming up for tip. This is her role. They're in a they're in a rotational defense, so she's coming to block or coming to front of the tip. Gets a kill there, the other opponent. Here again, she's in row two here. Hard jump serve. Back tries to use the line. Again, so let's take a look. Jump serve, she's going back out. Again, big double arm lift. One leg's usually out of bounds. This is a little bit too far of a set, so she's lining up pretty well in this set. Usually, ideally, you want one foot out of bounds, one foot on the line. So this set's a little bit inside a little bit. Here's that C shape. On contact, you want to be straight. And then following through, she's kind of following through a little bit backwards, a little bit too much here. Not a lot of forward momentum there. Again, a little bit more up, straight up and down. This is a kind of an offset. She really just step closes to this ball. Puts a lot of heat on that ball just because of the arm swing here. Really good load. Really good acceleration for the arm swing. Look how smooth the mechanics are.
And again, just looking at Boscovich here. Here she is, back row again. Very quick play. Great back row attack here. So a very quick transition play. She's ready to get. She's ready to get the set. Let's see this in full speed again. She's playing defense. Quick gets into her approach. She's taking these little hops. She notices that she doesn't get dug right. She's not getting the ball. So the ball's dug. So she's noticing this ball is dug very quickly. So she moves her feet to get back into a little bit of an approach as, as quickly as she can because she knows it's a quick set though. It's a bump set, but she does move these feet. Look at these feet right here. She's, she is trying to get a little bit of depth so she can get behind and stay behind the ball and then go forward. So she does a really good job of, even though it was a quick dig and a quick set, she gets her feet back just really quick and then she can get into a three-step approach. Very nice, really on top of the ball here. Really quick transition play. This is a very nice reaction and a very nice quick play. Here we are again, Boscovich, set from 25 feet out, very quick hammer. So you're going to notice how far this set is, right? So she's still behind the ball. She's way back here. She's behind the ball. The ball's here. She's staying behind the ball. She's getting back depth behind it. So that way she can keep the ball here. Here's the ball in front of her. She can keep the ball in front of her attacking arm. She takes a little bit of a stop with her arms here. She doesn't go a full. You can notice before she does that really big double arm lift. She kind of keeps it a little bit more mellow because it sets so high and so far back. So she shortens her approach up and everything, but her arm swing still is that classic nice rotation back and it's really smooth. And then you get that still that classic C. The great full bow elastic and then the follow through going forward. So still the same process on every hit, just a little bit different from where the set is and put so much heat on that ball from back row. The last clip I have her of her, this is just kind of um, showing how much of a step close that she can do here. Pretty amazing actually here. So she's getting set from way back. This is probably the hardest set possible. She's getting set back here over her head and it actually ends up landing in the middle of the court. So she's normally, most players can only hit this range. So the set has to be somewhere in here to hit. That's a normal right size range. She sees how far inside the set is and it's her ball and she knows and she takes this great step close. Look how massive of that step close is. And she gets on top of that ball hitting hard. So she's hitting it right here. So this is a normal right side. This is probably, that, that's, that's generous of how far a normal right side can hit. It's usually here and here on a high ball. She's hitting it from here. Look how long of a step close she gets to. That's just with her feet. Unreal. So a great play by her. She gets back. She instantly sees it gets dug. It comes up. She's instantly seeing it getting dug. She's ready for a joust or some kind of motion. She's getting into her spot. Free ball. She stays in for a second because she doesn't want the setter to take it. She sees that the middle is going to take it. So she gets out quickly into her approach. You don't want the setter to take it. You either want to take it here yourself or you want the middle to take it, but you don't want the setter to take it. So she's staying in that for that responsibility. Gets outside the court. They set her again. She puts the ball away. So she goes up. It's just, you can just look at her transition though. I know you can't see her very well in this hit, but waiting to stay in and then getting out when she knows that she doesn't have to pass it. 
getting outside the court before the set is, then coming in as a freight train and attacking, the same kind of attack that she would do before. So you've seen her technique. I just wanted to show you the big step close and how aggressive and how well she moves her feet. So that's it for Boscovic. Um, you, can, you can find her on the internet pretty easily. She's one of the top players right now. Um, these are just some kind of analytical plays that she did, and I really hope as a lefty you can get something out of this. And if you're a righty also, you can kind of see the reverse image and, and practice those kind of things, and then it's easier as a right-hander. You kind of go back. You kind of learn both methods. Not really, you know, you don't implement them in your own game, left-handed obviously, but if you can do something, you know, a swing left-handed a little bit, then swinging right-handed is really easy. So something also, and also... If you're going to be probably blocking against left-handed players, it's really important to know kind of how they work and some of their mechanics so that you're used to seeing left-handed players and blocking them and digging them. So even if you're just using this for defensive purposes, it's a great idea just to study left-handed players, and Boscovich is one of the best players. So if you can see her and you can really get used to like someone, somebody like her, then the players you're going to see are you know, a little bit less threatening to your eyes and to your um, your game if you're so used to saying, you know, if you're practicing in your mind against Boscovich and then, you know, you play somebody else. Still a very, you know, you don't want to underestimate an opponent or anything like that, but it's it's different. It's um, You're used to a certain, you know, a high caliber of player, so you're just ready at least. You're ready mentally and physically, so... Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'm going to do some more series on other players... So stay tuned for some more. Thank you very much.